Vitality is our ability to have spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical bliss. Some call it paradise. We call it a game. Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel, where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a real quick video. It's like 10 seconds. I'm not going to play the sound because they're not talking, but it's music and they strike music. So I'm going to let it run probably three or four times so that you can actually read it and get the gist of what's happening. Basically, what's going on in the video is that they're talking about they don't know why people are so confused over inter interracial adoption. So we have a black woman that has adopted a a, a Caucasian little boy. I'm going to let it run about three, four times. It's only like 10 seconds. And then I'm going to be back to really cook about this. So like I said, no sound. There's not going to be any sound. So there's nothing wrong with um, your your uh, sound. Okay. Right? How you steal mammy and mule and shuck and jive for others. Mind you. This is the same demographic of women that still lead the pack in abortions of their own. We'll sit there and we'll go to a Planned Parenthood or other clinic that offers, offers that service and get one ripped right out of her womb, one that looked like her, one that she laid up wasn't using protection, got pregnant, decided that that baby didn't need to be here, exercised her right in the United States to go delete it as a unilateral decision, her body, her choice. She does not need anybody's permission to go and do that. Even sometimes in some states, she's a minor. Yet, we'll go and adopt a child that our ancestors were forced to take care of instead of their own. If you adopting kids, why not adopt little black kids? What about little black kids in the system? What about the forgotten little black kids, little black boys and girls in the system? Because nobody values black little boys and black little girls. And we'll be the first one to leave them however they got in there. 
So, so here it is for me. You don't mind getting rid of yours out of your womb, but you will go get one of theirs and take care of it. This is exactly the mammy being lived out. I've actually seen a few of these, a couple of these little TikToks. It's kind of a little uptick in them a little bit where these black women are going through the process of adoption specifically to go and get little non-black children. This is the mammy. That's exactly what the mammy did. Okay? She what she loved, suckled, reared, raised, nurtured a child that would grow up to see her, her husband, her children as slaves and as N words. She'll be a NB as soon as he's able to talk good. And this will be a little boy or a little girl that she has sacrificed her children in order to raise right. Haven't we done enough of raising them? Didn't we raise them enough? Didn't, we, didn't our ancestors, at, at bare minimum, the ancestral mammy was doing so under the pain of punishment and within slavery times. At bare minimum, she had that excuse at her back. But if I don't do it, I'm going to be punished for, do, for not doing it. What's your excuse in 2022? What's y'all excuse in 2022 with that? So you mean to tell me it's little black kids, boys and girls all across the system of the United States in various child care systems. And we know how corrupt them systems are. We know how traumatic those systems can be. And we gonna leave ours in there and go get theirs? You knock it off. Let them save their own. I don't know why we gotta come through with a, cap, a cape all the time and an S on our chest all the time. When the, when the children that we bear out are at a disadvantage and we don't do much to make sure they're getting the upper hand. We don't raise them lovingly enough. It's too many stories that I stopped reporting them. If you will know, I stopped doing content that was about these black mothers deleting little children, their children. They own biological children that they had pregnant for nine months with and birthed out. Theirs, not somebody else's. Deleting them. It's almost every other week. I just stopped reporting on them. That would have been my whole content. Sad and depressing. Talking about how a lot of these women is out here deleting these babies. So we love them enough to show up with an S and a K. Oh, they just little babies, and they are just little babies. It's not they fault they in the system, but let their own come and get them. Because nobody comes to get yours. Nobody comes to get yours. Not even you. And I don't know why we so geared up and reared up to go save somebody else's offspring when ours are in trouble. We don't have space to go save nobody else. That's what that's what blow my mind. It, 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 you know, and I gotta go back to it. It's the abortion rate for me. Black women lead that. We stay in a Planned Parenthood getting that done, twerking on tables, happy that it's getting done. We stay keeping our keeping the fathers away from our children. We stay may having a, a major hand in the breaking of the home. We stay having a major hand in why our boys don't grow up to be the productive men that we claim we want to see. You got content creators talking about how to not have black little 
baby boys, how to avoid them, how to delete them, how to just not even birth them out to begin with. And then y'all are running, running around here getting little white baby boys. He won't be raised behind the eight ball in school. I bet you that. He won't have a problem with reading. He's in eighth grade reading at a third grade level. He won't have that problem. And you the same mama. That's the same group of women. That claim they the most educated. This the same group of women. Edu highly educated. And your son can't read his way out of a box card letter. You understand that? He can't write his name. He ate. Then you want to talk about what the little black boys aren't able to do. As if there was some innate quality in them that stops them from being intelligent. You don't mind when the school system put your little black boy in a, in a, um, a special ed class, even if he don't need it. But I bet you that would be raised right. Mark my words. That's just blowing my mind. We ain't doing the, our ancestors didn't do enough of that. For a lifetime, several lifetimes over. And guess what? Them raising them kids didn't stop no show. They still institutionalized the R word. And it still kept you in bondage. Them kids that you suckled and raised didn't no more see you as a human being than they mama and daddy did. When, they, when you were able to get them past the vulnerable stages, of, of babyhood and infancy, they took them, when they took them to educate them, they told them you wasn't nobody. And you got the audacity to be running around here adopting a bunch of them. And you know, I wouldn't even really have a problem with that if our kids wasn't in trouble. I wouldn't have a problem if, if the majority of black little boys and girls was, was on top and we was doing our job like we were supposed to raise these kids. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even make, be making a video like this. But they not. Our children suffer every generation. Nobody comes to save them. Then we look funny when they come to adopt ours. Then we want to give it a side eye. Don't give it no side eye. Don't give it no side eye. Leave it alone. Look at it straight forward. Don't give it no side eye. Just look straight. Because this is the type of stuff we do. We ready to put on a cape and fly to the rescue of others. But what about us? What about our babies? Yeah, they little babies that are uh, not to be blamed for being in the system. But so are ours. So are ours. They little babies not to be blamed for being in the system too. Whatever the problems of their mother father, family, whoever, however them little babies got in the system, that's not their fault. So why we don't have S's on our chest and capes on our backs to go get them? Why we don't do that? This is the mammy. I just, it had me kind of speechless. I'm like, oh. And not even this particular individual. I mean, I don't know them. But it was, it was just the visuals for me. It was just the, it's the abortion rate for me. I, I can't get over it. You kill your own more than any other group of women. 
and then you go and get, I, I can't make it make it make sense to me make it make sense to me in the comment section sound off in the comment section let me know what you think like share subscribe to the channel if you have not once again i'm your host the crimson cure and this was my perspective bye bye crimson Knights. hey guys please like share and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and if you've got more to say on the topic leave a comment down below also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.